Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video we're going to take a look on the Tramp HV video transmitter from Immersion RC. So we're going to overview the features of this transmitter and I'm also going to put this transmitter on my newly built Dynamics frame. So let's see what we're getting inside this small compact package. So we're getting this transmitter and it's already connected to this RF race programmer from Immersion RC. I'm going to talk about it in a second. And we're getting all the necessary connectors. We're getting one of these wires and we're getting this that allows it to connect directly to a LiPo with a JST connector. And we're getting also some stickers and this two side adhesive tape to be used with the NFC sensor. There is no instruction manual inside but there is a good one online. I'm going to put a link to it in the description of this video. The weight of this transmitter, including the pigtail, is almost 9 grams, 8.82 grams to be exact. And I really like the feature of having a pigtail because it allows it to easily replace this antenna connector. This is, by the way, an SMA connector, SMA female connector. So in case of a breakage, you can just use the IPX connector and put a new pigtail and you're good to go. So it's a good idea to have a couple of spare ones. Here are the connectors of this video transmitter. I don't really like these proprietary connectors because it forces you to have these type of connectors. And these are not as easy to get as the other standards in the market. So the first, first is the audio, then telemetry. You have video, five volt out, the ground and the plus. The walking voltage is between six to 18 volts. And Immersion RC recommend in the manual to connect it directly to the LiPo battery, so don't use any regulators. The top connector is the race programmer connector that allows you to use the magic wand in order to set it on a race or to change the band or the frequency or the output power. Actually, in the user manual, they say that this transmitter is not really intended to be used with these buttons in order to set the frequency and the band, but this is, I don't have the magic wand yet, so I'm going to configure it through this button and I won't be able to show you how this works. So probably you will find another video or when I will get the wand, if I would decide to get it, I will upload an update video how to use the magic wand. So in the meantime, I'm just going to use it the way it is. Next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put it on the Dynamics frame, connect it to the LiPo battery and then I will be able to show you how to set it up. So let's go ahead and see how to configure this video transmitter. So in order to get go to the setup mode, you will have to press this button three seconds. Then we can choose the frequency by just one pressing the this button. You can see already counted what was the previous. Uh, you can see here according to these blinks, you can see the current channel. So right now is. Seven. So if we change to one, two, three, now it's gonna be on three. One, two, three. If we wanna go to the next menu, we have to press it again for three seconds. Now we can choose the band. So the first one is gonna be F, fetch arc, then racing, then E, B, and A. So right now it's on E. So let's change it. Now it's on four. And if we want to go to the next menu, we have to press it again for three seconds. And now we can change the power output. So the first one is 25 milliwatt. The second option is 200, then 350, and then 600 milliwatt. Right now, it's on the first one, so we can change it. Right now, it's one, two, three, four. It's 600 milliwatt. If you want to save the settings, just press this button again for three seconds, and you're good to go. When you're using any video transmitter, don't forget to put the antenna first, otherwise it's going to burn your transmitter. 
Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. I will post a link to the instruction manual of this transmitter and I will post a flight video using this transmitter in the next week or so. See you on my next videos and don't forget to subscribe. Goodbye.